Hello there, and thank you for joining us. My name is Rebecca Cafiero, and I am certified in holistic health and integrative nutrition, and I'm also a new mom. I just um, had my almost one-year checkup. I've got an 11 and a half month old baby boy who's quickly becoming a toddler, and I've worked with so many mamas on their health and their nutrition through pregnancy, through breastfeeding, and also before pregnancy when they're getting ready to get their body healthy for pregnancy. And I've also gotten here my dear friend, Ellen Bernard, who is a doula that's certified through Dona, and she has worked with hundreds of moms and specializes in prenatal and postnatal care education and support for mamas. So we're going to be talking today about nutrition and wellness before, during pregnancy, and after pregnancy as a breastfeeding mom, um, and also just general wellness, toxicity, and then specifically how superfood nutrition has helped us and so many mamas that we know, or mamas to be, and why we love it and we recommend it. So first of all, just a little disclaimer is we're just talking about food and wellness. We cannot say that whatever we're discussing can cure treat or prevent any diseases, and we don't talk about diagnosing any diseases. But we do want to say that when you give the body what it needs, it can perform like the miracle that it is. So I'm going to turn this over to Ellen. She's going to talk a little bit about toxicity and where it's found in our bodies and how that relates to babies. So Ellen, over to you. Hi, thanks. I love that fact um, about you know what you're supporting for your future generations. Um, and I think that goes into toxicity as well because, you know, so often they're, they do studies and a lot of studies recently with um, the toxins that our babies are born with. So when we think toxicity, we're thinking about ourselves. Maybe we think about the cleaners that we use, the environment that we were in. Um, and it's a crucial time for toxicity with babies because they've done these studies. Um, babies are coming out, there's toxicity in their um, umbilical cords and in the placenta and in their blood when they come out. So we have to do everything that we can as moms um, and prenatally, but you know, in breastfeeding because you're still that source of life for them. Um, and we just really have to work hard to, to limit those toxins as much as we can. So I love that. And, and I always tell people like we, we don't live in a bubble. So even if we eat really clean, you know, there's going to be, th even if we, we use all natural, all organic products on our skin and our hair, we're drinking only the cleanest water. We're still breathing it in. There's still just things that we just don't know that we're being, um, we're being exposed to. So let's talk a little bit about before pregnancy. So let's say that, you know, like for me, um, I, really about a year before pregnancy started being very, very mindful, even as a healthy person, about what I was exposing my body to. And I um, had talked to a good friend of mine who is a nutritionist and midwife, and she said, you know, yes, not only do you want to get your body so ready for pregnancy to create this, this healthy host or home for your child, but also your partners, your, you know, your I hate to say sperm donor, but you're, you know, your husband or partner or boyfriend or whoever is the going to be, you know, the, the father of the child, because it's not just how clean the oven is that the baby's baking in. It's also the batter going in and a little bit gross, but it really reminds us of like how important that is. And maybe that's something you can speak to for a moment before we get into kind of the cleansing before pregnancy, but you know, how important it is for that, the father figure to also have, you know, good health going into a pregnancy. Yeah, so often I think as women, we take on all the responsibility of the health of our babies. Um, and again, like, you know, often um, in mainstream, I think health, it's, oh, you're thinking about getting pregnant, take this prenatal. Um, and it's never have the dad take prenatals. Like there's no like supplement for men that they say to do this. Um, and, you know, often I, I talk to moms who, you know, their husbands are using, um, you know, pre-workouts and, um, you know, energy drinks and they're the healthy one, but their partner's not. And I always back it up and say, it's not all on you. This is so important for them to, to care as much as you do, to have the nutrition that you do and to be putting in the same effort because you're not going to raise the baby yourself. Like you don't create it yourself. And it's really important that they understand that their nutrition, their quality of sperm is really important. Oh, I, I love that. It is so important. And that's, she fortunately, she told me as well. She's like, make sure you've got your husband also cleaning up his diet. So let me talk a little bit about cleansing before pregnancy. And, and I can talk about what I did, but also in general, why you should cleanse. And, and um, you know, as Ellen had said, finding toxicity, um, I think it was over 200 toxins, right? Typically are found in, 
in the, the blood of the umbilical cord. So most people don't understand that, again, even, even if you're eating perfectly organic, which most of us are not eating 100% organic, but even if you are eating organic, um, you're still being exposed to pesticides and herbicides and, and um, insecticides through other things. But for the example, for the most, the average conventionally grown fruit, if you're, you know, let's say you get an apple out of the fruit bowl at work, they're probably not buying organic. There's an average of 70 different toxins that are present in the skin of that apple or in the apple as it's grown. So there's just so many areas that we're getting this that we're not even realizing. And those things don't, don't leave our body. In fact, when those toxins come into our body, our body puts it into our bloodstream and, and the bloodstream then tries to put it through the liver. And the liver says, listen, I can't handle this. So it sends it back in the blood. And what ends up happening is the fat of your body ends up encapsulating those toxins. And if we don't have a way of properly getting rid of them, then those toxins just stay there. And of course, that often means for us that it accumulates more fat. And so of course, even getting to a healthy weight before pregnancy is very, very important. But so let's talk a little bit about, you know, if your body is not clean, what can result? And one is, is harder times getting pregnant, right? Um, right. Is having more difficult pregnancies, which we're going to talk about some of the things that can, you can experience during pregnancy and, and how nutrition can play a big part in easing a lot of those symptoms. But there's just so many negatives that by being properly prepared and properly preparing our body that we can, we can minimize. And again, we can't say we can reduce everything, but we can help minimize. So... As far as cleansing your body before pregnancy, we're not talking about juice cleanses or liver cleanses or colon cleanses. We're talking about a cellular cleanse because again, we are creating a baby by our cells replicating. So um, cleansing the body of the, through the cells, cleansing the body through the blood and the lymphatic system. That means pulling impurities out of the cells. So I know for me, I started cleansing actually about a year prior to trying to get pregnant, actually a year and a half. Now, many of you may be watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking about getting pregnant you know, in a month or I'm, getting, I'm already pregnant. And that's okay. But if you have the ability to, or sharing this with someone that you know that may be getting pregnant soon, trying to cleanse the body before pregnancy is so important. And again, it's going to remove toxicity out of the body. It's going to help release um, you know, unwanted fat, the visceral fat that's around the waist area. And again, for those partners or husbands, you know, having them also do that so that they're cleaning up everything, ideally to clean up their sperm as well. Um, so that's, that's a little bit, we won't get into great detail, but reach out because we do have a specific video that's just on cleansing and why it's important and how cleansing lowers cortisol levels, the stress hormone, which is so important to be low so that, again, to help get pregnant or to keep it low so during pregnancy you're not operating with high levels of stress. Um, secondly, also, it, um, you know, cleansing just helps you feel better. And it's important to go into a pregnancy feeling good and feeling like you're in optimal health. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about during pregnancy. So Ellen, why don't you run us through maybe some of the side effects that women may experience while pregnant and maybe in your experience where you see that a nutrition has played a role in minimizing those. And then I'll give some a little bit of information on my pregnancy and what I experienced. Yeah. So I mean, too often, and, and before I became a doula, I was a hairstylist. So I spent years listening to women tell me their symptoms and their horror stories of, you know, pregnancy and birth and obviously after, um, and thinking, and even my sister's experiences and thinking, oh my God, that's going to be me. Like, how, because I didn't know people who had great experiences. I didn't know anybody who didn't have nausea. Like, I didn't know anybody who wasn't so tired their first trimester that they were sleeping all day. Um, so a lot of those common ones are nausea. We hear about all day. You can have it from not just morning sickness, but from you know sun up to sun down. Um, heartburn, indigestion. Um, you're tired. That lack of energy. Um, and dare I say constipation. Um, so a lot of women are dealing with that stuff and thinking that's just pregnancy and I have to suck it up and I have to just get through it. And that's not the case. I mean, I, I think that's the most amazing thing with this, this system is, you know, me getting into it personally to cleanse um, my body, um, understanding what visceral fat was holding me back from just energy wise and all of that. But again, knowing that we want to, you know, start trying for kids and you know, getting into all that and wanting to minimize, like you said, minimize all of these symptoms that are going on. So for, for everyone in pregnancy. I love that. No. And I think that it, it's so true. And one thing I was going to say is, is that most of us are not aware of how good we're meant to feel. And so I know for me, you know, cleansing the body on a consistent basis before pregnancy really 
took away a lot of things I was experiencing long before pregnancy, such as being, the t- being tired or being stressed out and really helped, again, help my body feel good as a baseline. So I know when I, when I actually, I w- you also become so in tune with your body when you start to feel good and when you're very conscious of like what you're feeding your body and how it, how it impacts how you feel in every other way. Um, in fact, when I got pregnant, uh, people thought, thought I was a little crazy, but within a few days of conception, I was like, I'm pregnant. I, we were trying, but I could tell because I felt different. And of course, when I finally took the pregnancy test, I was pregnant. I was like, I literally knew within 48 hours, which doesn't even make sense, but it's because I could tell when my body started to shift. So a few of the things that you talked about, like the side effects, and again, this is anecdotal. This was my experience. We can't say this is true for everyone. Um, but things like the nausea, you know, I was really fortunate that I did not have nausea throughout. And one thing I, I was very careful about is making sure that I got prebiotics in the morning and probiotics and also nutrition in my body right away. And we'll, we'll detail more about that. But some of the things like the, the lack of energy now, did I notice I was a little bit more tired? Yes, but not to a debilitating point, not to where I was needing naps, not, you know, I didn't, I never threw up, which I was so fortunate. Um, and I, I believe a lot of that, a lot of the fact that I continue to you know, keep low stress levels and a lot of the fact that I was able to you know, continue to work through pregnancy without feeling overwhelmed was due to nutrition and a lot of those habits. So um, let's, let's kind of go through what, uh, what I did and what we recommend for women and why we recommend it throughout the process of pregnancy. And then also kind of how this translates into after, after the baby's here and breastfeeding. So let's get started. So let's talk about first um, probiotics, right, in the morning. And, and you want to talk about why they're so important, especially through pregnancy? Yeah. So number one thing when women come to me and say that they're nauseous, um, they're having morning sickness, you know, heartburn, any of that upset stomach, um, the first thing, and this is actually for women not pregnant, anybody who has those symptoms, like you could be that person you wake up and nauseous. Um, it's probiotics. I always, I feel like the number one thing I recommend for people is always a probiotic. I'm like, are you on a probiotic? If not, you're missing out on life because it really, really does balance things out. It's going to help your gut flora. It's going to make things just alkaline and, and the right way it's supposed to be in order to handle the upset and the hormone changes and everything that goes on that causes that morning sickness, heartburn, nausea. Um, and to get it in, like you said, first thing in the morning, the Mars Venus solution right in the morning um, is going to give you that boost so that, I mean, literally, if I suggest for women, have it by your bedside or have your partner bring it to you before you even get out of bed, like just get it in right away. Um, and then, you know, obviously moving on with other products, but starting right. with that. Absolutely. Well, one thing you said is even before pregnancy, and I think that's so important is for a lot of people, like, especially if you've been someone maybe that's been on antibiotics um, a lot in the past, you probably have killed a lot of the good gut bacteria. And while I know um, many people will say, oh, well, I do yogurt and that's got probiotics. That is such, well, one is I'm, I'm dairy free. So a lot of people have issues with dairy. So they may be like getting a little bit of probiotics, but then they're putting in something that may give them issues. But with, if you're taking an actual probiotic drink like this one, it's got hundreds of times the probiotics of what you're getting in and yogurt. So this is not a substitute. This is a far superior source. So this one, um, as we said, this is the Mars Venus probiotic. It's a super, it says super cleanse, but it's not an actual cleanse. It tastes really good. It tastes kind of like lemonade. And it was, um, it was formulated by Dr. John Gray, who wrote the books, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. But you just take a scoop of this in the morning in water. And again, it tastes super good. Um, so that's first thing, ideally on an empty stomach. And, and you know, probiotics are responsible for 80% of our immune system which most people yeah. don't understand because our immune system is enti- almost entirely regulated in our gut, which is what the probiotics go to work on. So secondly, let's talk about secondly. So right after that in the morning, again, on an empty stomach, um, and actually then I do my, my vitamins, which we'll go back to, is doing a protein shake. And now not all protein shakes are created equal. And of course, we're talking about isogenics, which is overall all the products here. And we'll talk about why we love them. But um, you want to be doing a protein shake that is – either an undenatured whey protein, if you do do dairy, and undenatured means it has not been, um, it has not been burnt or the protein has not been heated to the point where um, it loses all of the enzymes and the amino acids that are so important for your body to be able to absorb all the nutrition. I personally, again, do the, the dairy-free, which is pea, hemp, and brown rice protein. Um, and you do that as well, don't you, Ellen? I do. I don't do dairy either. Exactly. So 
And even if you do do dairy, I always recommend for mamas that in your third trimester, you start switching to non-dairy protein choices. And the reason is, is that in that what they call fourth trimester, which means after a baby's born, the first three months of life, their, um, their digestive system isn't fully formed. So if you're doing butter or milk or, you know, any type of dairy from a cow, um, a lot of times your baby's going to end up colicky or gassy or explosive diarrhea. Um, and eliminating those things can really just be a lot easier. Any baby, anything to add there? Yeah. I mean, I always say it can be really hard for people who love dairy to cut out dairy, but I would rather cut out dairy and I love cheese. I'm just going to say I love cheese, but I would rather have that cut out so that I could sleep at night and my baby's restful and getting, you know, sleep is so important for you and for them, the development of their brains. I mean, you want them to sleep through the night. I mean, be sleeping at as much as they're going to. Right. Night. Exactly. I'm not just again, so that you can feel sane because when you're waking up every two hours, it's very, very easy to feel insane. But also as she was saying that sleep, I mean, if your baby's not sleeping, they're not getting that REM development to mature their brains and to grow their brains. So um, there's several different flavors. I've got the, the rich chocolate, the natural berry, and also the um, vanilla chai. And these are 24 grams of plant-based protein um, and they're soy and gluten free. And the thing that's important about that is, you know, why would you be doing protein in the morning? Well, because protein is again the building blocks for cells and that's you know if you're doing even a healthy breakfast like oatmeal with nut butter or you're doing um you know scrambled eggs the issue is is that the protein even if you're doing high protein is not as what's called bioavailable meaning your body isn't actually able to to use as much of that protein so it's really important that you go with a source that's very highly bioavailable so that's why i love the isogenic shakes now for a breastfeeding mom or a pregnant mom one in the morning, and then a second one is great either um, either at lunch or as a snack between lunch and dinner. Or for me, in my third trimester or even late second trimester, when I started getting bigger, and and if you again aren't pregnant yet, you you will experience this. But um, as that baby starts to grow, everything gets pushed around in your body into places it's never been before, and into much smaller places. So your digestive tract has to do a lot more work and it's, it's a lot more cramped. So a lot of times you have a really hard time eating a meal late at night or when I say late, even after three or four o'clock. So for me, I started doing my shake in the morning and a snack and I do a large lunch, like a dinner size lunch. And then I would do a, you know, a second or third shake in the afternoon where I needed a nutrition, but I didn't want a big meal in my stomach. So I'm sure you've been recommending that for your mamas as well. Yeah. I mean, it's so important, you know, you're hungry all the time, especially in that, that third trimester. Um, and it's great to just have something that's easy to get down because you might have the eyes for the food, but yeah, you're not going to want to finish that. So, right. And so we're just going to start with like the four products that I absolutely start every single pregnant or breastfeeding mom. And then we're going to go over all the products that we like to recommend in general. So the other product is, used to be called Replenish, now it's called Hydrate. Um, and this is um, full of electrolytes and um, vitamin Bs. It is, it does have color and flavoring. But by the way, everything that we're talking about is non-GMO, no artificial ingredients, no artificial colors, no artificial dyes. And again, guys, ladies, these are things you want to keep out of any food you're putting into your body all the time, but especially while pregnant or breastfeeding, no artificial anything. So this is incredible. And what I love about it, it is dairy free. It's also vegetarian. Um, is I used it while pregnant because when I noticed my energy started to dip a little bit, this gave me some really great natural energy that was not caffeine based, which is so important. You don't want to be putting, you know, lots of caffeine into your body. And then while breastfeeding, oh my goodness, that fourth trimester, I could not get enough of this in my body because I felt like, you know, as your body starts to produce milk, you be so dehydrated. And so even though I always drink a lot of water, just drinking water wasn't quenching my thirst. I felt like my mouth was parched. I had to drink this. So I'd be sitting down, you know, feeding the baby and I'm like, get me replenish water, hydrate water. My husband's like, water is just fine. I'm like, it doesn't quench my thirst. So always start off. Um, I always start off pregnant breastfeeding moms with this. And then the last is, before we get into some of the extra things, is the importance of a good prenatal vitamin, right? Now, the shakes actually have the equivalent of minerals and nutrients of a prenatal, but why it's still so important. So I love the Isa Kids vitamins, and I vetted these against the top prenatal vitamin on the market and found that they had just as, well, pretty much everything was comparable. And I love about the fact these, do you notice there's no child safety cap on these? And that's because everything is so natural and so pure that they're safe for children. Obviously, these are kids' vitamins too. Um, and I did supplement these with extra folate and extra iron personally. 
So that's something that I, I do personally recommend. Um, anything else to add on these, Ellen? Um, I would say that they're just, again, bioavailable, chewing them up, like that's going to be simpler. Um, obviously, if you're swallowing other pills and you have other stuff, it's just nice to chew something. Um, and I would say on the hydrate too, um, labor. It's a great oh. labor aid. Like during labor, you need to be chugging water. Right. <laughs> a lot of women really want to, um, but it is something that I'm constantly there as a doula with a water bottle like right behind them. Like you don't want an IV, like drink this. So it, it is a really great thing. That I love that. I drank this during labor. It was 26 hours. Hopefully you all have less. And even though you're not supposed to eat, I ended up, I was like, honey, get me a shake. Because again, 26 hours, I needed some nutrition in my body. Yeah, and you can eat now. They've actually, I mean, oh, cool. hospitals are, all hospitals are different, um, but they have, there's huge studies done on that. And, and most hospitals, almost all that I've been in, uh, allow it. And the rule is, is it's your body. You can put what you want in it. Um, and if, just do it when they don't see if it's really that big. Of a no, I, and I love that because, again, this acts like a pre-digested food, which means that your body is able to take it in. And, like, you can eat this right before bed and not go to bed feeling like your tummy's going to be rumbling. So, okay, so that's, that's the kind of the four, four minimums I always tell women is, again, whether pregnant or breastfeeding, is the probiotics in the morning and then two shakes a day. Now, again, because um, pregnancy and breastfeeding is not a time to think about um, limiting or reducing calories. So sometimes I would add a nut butter in if I felt like I needed some extra calories, but two shakes a day. And, and it's not because you're trying to replace meals, though I always use it for breakfast. But for me, I noticed if I didn't put in, get in my second shake, that's when I started to have cravings. That's when I'd be like, ooh, I want some chocolate or I want you know something that was a little bit maybe higher in fat. But when I got in my two shakes, I didn't have those cravings that a lot of women experience. And so for me, I knew that was so important because it was giving me all those vitamins and nutrients that I didn't crave things that weren't as good of choices for my child. Um, the amped hydrate and then the isokids. Go ahead, Ellen. And I was going to say with the, the shakes, it's so important that you're eating every three hours just as a woman for your metabolism, pregnant or not. Um, but to be getting in that nutrition um, because you're going to get nauseous if your stomach's empty. You know, like there, you just have to stay on top of it. This is all preventative. And if you don't stay on top of it, you're going to get to that, you know, even before bed, if you don't do something soon enough before bed and you get in bed, you're going to wake up a few hours later, starving or nauseous. Mm -hmm. So again, being preventative, it's, it's just smarter. Oh, I love it. There were a lot of nights. In fact, there were days during pregnancy that I would have, you know, my breakfast shake and then a snack and then lunch and then my shake in between lunch and dinner and then dinner. And then I'd have a shake at 10 o'clock before I went to bed and I felt so good. Um, but yeah, as you said, it's preventative. And I know for me, the only times I ever felt nauseous was when I went, Oh my gosh, it's 10 AM and I haven't eaten my shake yet. If I got my shake and my probiotics in by, you know, seven 38 AM, like I was good. It started out my day. Right. So let's talk about some of the other products that we love. So again, if you're on here and you're wondering what to get started with and you're not, if you, if you are already pregnant, if you're not pregnant, we definitely recommend, um, some type of 30 day system that allows your body to cleanse cellularly. But if you are pregnant, then you definitely do not want to start with a cleanse. Um, you, so you do the probiotics, the two shakes a day, the hydrate and the icy kids. But some of our other favorites we're going to talk about. So one is the immune support. And I do four or five squirts of this a day. And can we talk about why is it so important for our immune system to be strong while pregnant or breastfeeding? Right. Well, obviously you're creating that immune system for your baby. Um, you know, breastfeeding is the best immune system builder when, when they come out. Um, so again, keeping your nutrition up. So you've got quality breast milk. Um, but you know, in pregnancy sickness happens, especially if you're pregnant over the winter, I mean, it's bound to happen and you can't take medications. You have to be again, preventative and really aware of what you're putting into your body. Um, you know, even Tylenol is recommended by doctors and I wouldn't touch it. So, you know, you have to really make those decisions for yourself, but knowing that that product is there for women, I mean, it's amazing. And you have to be an advocate for yourself is what, is what you're saying. And I, I'm the same way. I, you know, there are things that doctors may recommend that are just, I mean, you got to listen to your, your intuition and say like, is there a more natural way to do this? So, you know, if you're, if you're congested instead of, instead of taking, you know, some type of a steroid or a nose inhaler, like, can I neti pot or, you know, like for me, I took an option other than the glucose test. I did a high sugar organic sugar breakfast. So there's often things that are entirely outside of isogenics that we can advocate for ourselves. So yes, I love this and I still take it. I take this every day and especially before traveling, if you're getting on a plane and now actually give it to my little guy too. Um, and I think it's safe for, I think it's safe for, um, 
well, there's a list that says what the ages are for safety. And that's again, one of the things I love about isogenics is um, almost everything is safe for kids. There's a few things that, that are not because they have the herbs in them, but even like the shakes, I think they say two and up and the things that say four and up, it's only because of choking hazards. Okay. So next is the super mineral vitamins. This is another John Gray product. Um, and I took these as well as the Isa kids all through my pregnancy and then also through breastfeeding now. And these are just a great vitamin and you can take these on an empty stomach. They're very, very, um, very, very easy on the stomach. Okay. And then Isa Omegas. Oh, did you want to say anything on the super minerals? Well, and I was going to say too about the Isa kids, magnesium, oh, how yeah. important magnesium is and not to be overdosing with magnesium. I feel like I have to tell women that too. Um, but you know, when you have swelling in pregnancy, the number one thing to do is take an Epsom salt bath, like a lot of Epsom salt, almost to the point where you could float in it. Um, <laughs> it's like the dead sea, but that's going to, you'd be shocked by how, um, um, how much you can reduce that inflammation with a bath, but because you're absorbing toxins and anything through your skin. So you're going to help with that inflammation. But then again, to be taking it and knowing that it's in your vitamins, knowing that it's already there in a, in a soluble form is amazing too. Well, I was going to say that this, so that's magnesium is in both of these. And one thing that I experienced during pregnancy, and again, it's my first pregnancy and I've only had a pregnancy on isogenic, so I don't know, but I work with a lot of moms that got on it between like a first and second or second and third pregnancy and had such a different experience when they had this nutrition in their body. But my entire pregnancy, I always was able to wear my rings and I never had shoes that I couldn't wear. Now, I didn't want to wear high heels because you just don't want to, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to fall. But it was amazing that like I never had swelling of my ankles or significant water retention. So that made me feel so good. I had some moms that, oh my goodness, they got, it wasn't cankles. It was like cows during pregnancy. Um, the Isa Omegas, I also love these, you know, to get in your Omega-3 oils. These are, are actually um, your, your EPAs, your DHAs. By the way, this, this is, everything is so clean. So this is pharmaceutical grade. So, you know, if you're buying fish oil at Kirkland, you know, Kirkland fish oil at, um, at Costco, it's just not the same. This is from fish from Icelandic waters, which is some of the cleanest waters in the world. And they are, like I said, pharmaceutical grade. So they're something like 12 times cleaner than the average fish oil you're buying. Um, Isa Flush. Let's talk about Isa Flush. This is one of my favorites, and it is for most women. Um, this is got magnesium in it as well. Um, and do we talk about when would be a time to use this? So this is not technically on the recommended list. So this is just something I personally use, but I know for me, I got constipated and I'm a very regular person. I got constipated while I was pregnant. So I knew that taking these would have helped me have a regular bowel movement. Anything to add here? Yeah. I mean, for same reasons, obviously constipation. Um, but really early first trimester, you can have, um, pretty painful cramps. So women, you know, again, being in tune with your body, knowing the difference between, you know, implantation and, and that kind of a cramp of your, you know, your uterus and your placenta growing. And then you have these crazy other cramps um, that are gas and bloating and, you know, constipation. So you have to be aware that that's not a miscarriage. That's not anything scary. That's just simply your body already getting constipated. And uh, that's great for that too. Oh, and what about fiber? Because I don't have that enough ice of fiber here, but yeah, the Fiber Pro. Fiber Pro. Yep, and that's got um, prebiotics in it also. So that's another form, um, another way to be getting that in, and that's tasteless. So I like that you can just add that in with your greens at night, or you know, at some point during the day, and, and getting those into. Perfect. And speaking of greens, so there's um, there's ice of greens. And there's ice of fruits. Now, both of these can be taken by themselves. They can be added to water. I personally love to add them to my shake. It's just easier. I just put a scoop of each. Um, both of them have 30 servings of, I'm sorry, 30 different fruits, 30 different greens that equates to about three to five servings of fruits or greens. And the thing I love about this is it's only one gram of sugar. So if you're doing a big smoothie or like an acai bowl, you know, yes, you may be getting a few servings of fruit, but you're also getting a ton of sugar. And you know, the World Health Organization recommends less than 25 grams a day, which if someone's doing two shakes a day with fruits and greens, you're not even, you're only getting about half that sugar recommendation, six to seven grams per shake an extra one gram for the ice of fruits and greens. Now, again, the greens is not yet on the recommended list. The fruits is, but I did talk to Dr. Tony, who's a product formulator, and he said that there's nothing in the greens that is not safe. It's all greens. It's not actually any um, anything that should be an issue. And I know I took both of these throughout both my pregnancy and breastfeeding. And, they taste and I would say, yeah, and I would say too for food aversions. Uh, very often I hear women say that they're, you know, I just can't eat a salad. I can't eat my vegetables. There's only one vegetable I like. Um, and sneak it in. I mean, you, you've got to get it in. So 
And icy greens doesn't taste like greens. It tastes like kind of mangoey pineapple. In fact, we've got a mama friend who gives this to her kids and they call it green sugar. And she gets them to sprinkle it onto everything. And that way, again, they're getting in those nutrients. So great thing for kids as well. And again, this is all kid friendly. Um, next, let's talk about snacks. Because as you said earlier, you never want to be going, you know, more than a few hours without food in your body. Now, when I'm at home, I love snacking on things from the fridge, you know, almonds or veggies and hummus, you know, something of that sort. And, you know, and some moms, again, I'm, I don't do um, animal products, but some moms like to do a hard boiled egg or, you know, again, a healthy snack. But the isogenics bars. So this is one of the dairy-free bars. This is the new one, chocolate, coconut, almond. They're insanely good. The isogenics bars are um, typically about 19 grams of protein and um, lots of fiber, and they're lower in sugar. So maybe you're picking up a kind bar or a, like a Luna bar. Look at those bars. Look at the back of them because a lot of them have 20 to 30 grams of sugar and maybe only two to four grams of protein. And they'll even say on the front, great source of protein, but they really aren't. So I love the Isogenics bars because they're lower in protein. And what I do is I break one in half because really for a snack, we only need about 125 calories. So breaking one in half is a perfect snack. Yeah. Cutting them up too, so that you feel like you're not just eating half of a bar. Yeah. <laughs> so you cut them up, you know, and I saw, I was listening to a podcast and then the lady was suggesting, um, without flavor specifically, like shoving little almonds into them. I was like, Ooh. Yeah, I don't even have to try it, but yeah, she cut them up, and I think that's so great. Um, and just to kind of make it more of a snack idea. Perfect. So let's go through like. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say one last thing about protein. Um, obviously, you know, for a lot of women, if you're already health minded, you're trying to stay still toned and really only gain the belly baby weight. Um, and protein is so important for that. Um, obviously, not just the development of your baby, but also just so that you can maintain muscle. Um, you know, you need that high protein, but good protein. So. Absolutely. And you know, I, it's funny, I had gotten rid of my scale probably six months before getting pregnant. Cause I had been the same, well, I didn't look at my weight, but I'd been the same size for a year and a half. And so I got rid of the scale. So the only times I get weighed is when I go to the doctor's office and you know, throughout pregnancy, you're getting weighed every few weeks as you're going in for your checkups. And I, I had a very big baby boy. He was almost 10 pounds and I gained about 35 pounds, which for my weight at the time was the healthy weight because I was, I was on the lower side. Um, but I, so I went back today and it was the first time I've been weighed in a while and I was back to actually just slightly under my pre-baby weight, but I'm still breastfeeding. So I'm still carrying a little extra fat while I'm breastfeeding, which is totally normal. Um, but I was like, Oh my gosh, that's great. I'm back to my weight without dieting because I've been giving my body again, that optimal nutrition. And then of course, also the other side of that is breastfeeding as a great source of calories. So let's just go through one more time. What are the products we recommend and then how we use them in the day? So, um, we start out the day with the lemon probiotic, then two shakes a day, always one for breakfast, the first thing that goes into our body during the day. Replenish or hydrate. The Isakids, or it's called Isakids Essential, Isakids Vitamin. The Super Mineral Vitamins. The Isa Immune Support. Isa Omegas. Isa Flesh. The bars and then the fruits and greens. So again, the bare minimum I would recommend getting started with is at least two canisters, because this is only 15 servings, two canisters of the um, of the probiotics, and that, that's about a dollar a serving, I believe. And the replenish, which is about 50 cents a serving, this has 45 servings. So depending on how many drinks, this could last you a month, but you might need two. And then four boxes of shakes, four boxes or canisters, depending on the type you go with, and that will get you two per day. Again, there were some days I drank three, so if you do, you're gonna need to order more. Um, and then again, the vitamins. One other thing I'd like to throw in is, you know, we're not just concerned with cleaning up our food sources, but also our skin. So looking for you know, natural skin products, looking for you know, organic, so using apps like Skin Deep or EWG. Um, I also, before pregnancy, switched to the Rejuvity skincare line Isogenics offers. So looking at what you're putting on your skin, your skin is your largest organ and most toxicity outside of through food comes in through skin. So I love the Isogenics because it's all natural, it's all plant-based um, and it just doesn't have any nat nasty things that are in it. So again, it was just peace of mind for me. Anything else to add? 
No, I think that that really covers it. I, there's just so many products that are great um, in pregnancy. So I feel really lucky moving forward. Absolutely. Oh, you know, and why don't we really quickly, because I know that, again, some of us, some of you that may be on here, maybe not be pregnant, or you may have friends that might be interested in, um, you know, learning more about this as well that may not be pregnant. So just to share my kind of my quick story, um, you know, I started isogenics actually to lose 10 pounds before my wedding and for energy. And I was already a very healthy eater, as I said. So I incorporated this nutrition without cutting any calories into what I was already doing and with cellular cleansing. And I actually released about 18 pounds in just a couple of months. But more importantly, I felt incredible. And I noticed my energy went up, my stress levels went down, my immune system um, really started to thrive. I wasn't getting sick. And also just, I felt so good and cravings went down. That was pre-pregnancy. Get those cravings and check pre-pregnancy. Um, and then again, after about a year and a half of using the products and maintaining that great health and maintaining a consistent size without being obsessed with what I was eating or having to calorie count, um, I used isotonics to have a very, very healthy pregnancy. And of course, other things as well, uh, meaning I continue to eat very clean. I continue to you know, make good choices about what I put into my body and my food, my, my skin, et cetera. Um, and then again, now as a breastfeeding mom, um, and I exclusively breastfed for the first you know, seven months and was very grateful to have a great milk supply and again, not get sick. Um, and you know, we'll of course continue to use isogenics and have it incorporated into my family's life. So would you like to share your quick story, Ellen? Yeah. So my husband and I actually started together, which was really cool because as a doula, like I said, what my body is um, giving to a, a pregnancy and what he's giving to a pregnancy are um, equal. So for me, nutrition is is a, a job for both of us. Um, and it's important for both of us. So we, um, started just actually three months ago. Um, our first month was incredible. My husband, I don't know how lost nine inches. He still had, I mean, he had abs before that. I don't even know where it came from. Um, and it really is for him, um, just added in. So he gets more protein. Um, he hasn't changed his meals at all other than starting it in the morning with, um, isogenics. So he just does a two shakes as snacks really, um, still eats as much, um, gets more protein, feels better for his workouts, for his demanding job, um, and really loves it. And then for me, um, I was really concerned with, um, obviously cleansing toxins, looking forward to getting pregnancy or pregnant, um, and having a healthy pregnancy. Um, and so the toxins I wanted to get rid of, I really wanted to balance my hormones. I really would suggest women be aware of how hormones, um, you know, getting pregnant, that, that stability needs to be there for your hormones. So that was really important to me. Um, and then, you know, obviously being as healthy as I was, very similar to you, Rebecca, I've been vegan for years. Um, you know, I don't eat gluten, I don't eat dairy, um, and I eat very, very clean otherwise. And I still wasn't seeing the results. I had a lot of inflammation. I have um, some autoimmune issues. And so it really was for me that next step of I've done everything else. And if this doesn't work, then I, I mean, then I've done, at least I knew I had done everything. Um, so it's just, I feel great. Um, I've lost two pant sizes. I don't weigh myself. I never have um, because I have pictures of me from, you know, when I used to run marathons back in the day and, and you know, post marathon running when I broke my foot. And I mean, you, I'm the same weight in both those pictures and I look drastically different. So, I mean, the weight doesn't matter. It's the pant sizes and the bra size that changes and oh. the size and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely smaller and I love it. And I just don't have that inflammation issue that I, that I did. I love that you addressed that. I, I should say the same thing. I re released, uh, two dress sizes and three jean sizes during the period that I did weight loss. And then of course went on to maintenance. Cause when we feel good, we want to continue to feel good. Um, and again, this, this can be for everyone, whether someone's pregnant, breastfeeding before, or whether you're female, male, et cetera. Um, but I also wanted to share with everyone, like, like Ellen said, you know, we are nutrition nerds and the fact that, you know, we were so comfortable with the products because of vetting their, their, um, efficacy, uh, efficacy and their integrity. And the other thing I love about them is the 30 day money back guarantee, because, you know, obviously during pregnancy, you're starting, well, you're starting a whole new life, but you know, if you decide to get started and you decide it's not for you, which it's just, it, to me, I feel like it's for everyone that eats, which yeah. everyone eats. But, you know, if, if you decide it isn't for you, there's an amazing 30-day money back, even if you've eaten everything. So that's really nice to know that there's that no risk. And then also the meals break down to about $3 each, which you cannot go out there. I mean, even if you're growing your own food and you're making it, you can't go out there and eat for $3 a meal. And for something that's going to nourish your body the way this is. And then the last thing is it travels so well. And I I traveled a lot for work. I traveled a lot um, before pregnancy and even you know, during uh, as breastfeeding. I just got back from, we were just gone for eight days. 
So I love that the nutrition travels with you and you always know no matter where you are, that you have this clean, no risk nutrition that you know you're getting the right nutrients in regardless of where you're at in your health journey. So. Yeah. And I think for me, it just changed my, my relationship with food. I wasn't stressing about, you know, knowing that I was going to be out and about running errands and doing life for six plus hours. And what if I, I didn't have enough or I had to prep all my food and bring it with me in a cooler and where was I going to eat? And, you know, like, because I was so aware of the toxins and, and wanting to be healthy and, you know, eating clean. And so for me now, it's such a relief that I can throw, I always have two shakes and a bar in my purse because who knows, like if I'm out for 10 hours, like I'm going to need all of that. So I just, it's so nice to have that convenience and, and feel secure going out and being busy and doing life. And absolutely. I love it. And if you're again, if you're watching this call and you have questions, um, you know, reach out to us, um, or you can go to www.elevateyourlifeproject.com and just fill out the contact form, and somebody will get in touch with you. And of course, put in who referred you because we always want to make sure that um, that the person that referred you gets a thank you. So thank you so much for joining us, and please, please, please share this with someone that you know that may benefit from the information. Thanks so much. Have a